Hey guys, new episode. Today I'm talking about stereo packages. Uh, so I'm going to list out a turntable based stereo package, a streaming based stereo package as well as a CD based stereo package because I know there's still a bunch of you guys out there who listen to CDs almost exclusively. Uh, I'm going to recommend a standard amp uh, with all of them. Uh, and I'm going to recommend either bookshelf speakers or floor standing speakers. And between both these speakers, I'm also going to subdivide them into a more sort of audiophile neutral approach, as well as an option for a more sort of colored, slightly fun speaker with a slightly exaggerated sense of maybe bass, which for a lot of people is very enjoyable. Um, so with that being said, let's get into it. Uh, my first recommendation is the Revolver Club Enthusiast Pack, which is a Denon DP29F paired up with a set of Edifier 1280DB uh, active speakers. It is the Maruti Alto of stereo packages. Uh, so you've got a full-fledged turntable that plays 33 RPM as well as 45 RPM. Uh, it hooks up to the 1280DBs, uh, which sound great at the price. Uh, they also have Bluetooth. They have a optical in to hook up to your TV. Uh, so in many ways, um, a full-fledged sort of entertainment system. Uh, sells for typically under 30k, depending on the pricing at that particular moment. Uh, great value for money. Uh, so if you plan on starting off just with a turntable and you don't have a lot of money to spend, uh, I'd recommend the Enthusiast Pack. Uh, next up, we have a higher end turntable setup. Uh, so I'm going to go with the Denon 300F, which is fully automatic, but also manual. Built-in preamp, customizable counterweight and detachable head shell. Uh, looks great, feels nice. Uh, a great overall turntable, sells for about 40k, should find it for cheaper. Uh, I'm going to pair this up with the Maran 6007. Uh, this is going to be the common amplifier used on all my recommendations. In terms of speakers, if you're looking for bookshelves uh, and you want a more neutral sort of sound, you prefer jazz and vocals, uh, more refinement, more accuracy, we're going to go with the ELAC B5.2s, which was also recommended as part of my bookshelf recommendation list. If you want a slightly funner speaker, a more overall sort of enjoyable sound, I'm going to recommend the Q-Acoustics uh, 3030i. Uh, if you're looking to go with floor standards, I'm going to recommend the 3030i uh, from Fine or the 302i from Fine uh, that lend themselves to a general more musical experience uh, very very fun to listen to uh, while not being extremely boring uh, like some of the audiophile speakers out there uh, if you're looking for a more fun speaker a more imposing speaker something that generates a lot of volume a lot of bass uh, and you've got the space for a floor stander then I'm going to recommend the Q Acoustics 3050i uh, which should get for about 75 uh, to 80k uh, next up is my streaming recommendations. So as part of my source, I'm going to recommend either the WIM Mini or the uh, DNM AS04. Uh, both great streamers. Both will integrate into my Marantz PM6007 fairly easily via the RCA. Uh, if I had the choice, I'd obviously go in for the WIM. It is cheaper, uh, similar performance. However, there's a good chance you won't find it, in which case the AS04 is a very, very good alternative, albeit slightly more expensive. Uh, in terms of speakers, I'm going to pair them up if I have space for just bookshelves with either the ELAC 5.2 if I want a more neutral sort of sound. If I want a more colored, accentuated, slightly funner sound, uh, then I'm going to go in for the 3030i from Q Acoustics. If I've got space, if I just like a little extra presence, then I'm going to go in for floor standards, in which case I'm going to pick the Fine 302 or 303i. Uh, the 303i has an extra driver costs a little more, but gives you that extra oomph. Uh, so again, if you've got the money, uh, about 60K-ish, then I'd spend that little money and, and go in for the 303i. Uh, if I want a more colored sound, a more sort of in-your-face sound, um, if I watch a lot of movies, if I want to listen to a lot of EDM uh, or hard rock, uh, I'd probably lean towards the 3050i from Q Acoustics. Again, similar price point, you should get it for about maybe 60 to 70K. Uh, both of them will pair very easily with the 6007, both high efficiency, driven very easily uh, by the 6007 that's going to give you uh, close to 50, 60 watts uh, at 4 ohms. Next up is my CD player stereo package. Uh, I personally haven't listened to a CD in a very, very long time, uh, though I know there's a lot of our clientele that do have large CD collections. So if you're one of those guys, uh, you're going to want a CD player. I'm going to recommend the CD6007 from Marantz. Uh, we're going to pair that up again with the PM6007, a very solid combination. Once again, we're going to pair them either with bookshelves or floor standards. Uh, if I want a, a more neutral sound, I'm going to go in again for the ELAC B5.2. If I want a more sort of funner, slightly more bass heavy sound, I'm going to look at the Q Acoustics 3030i. Uh, if I've got the money, if I've got the space, um, I'm going to go in for floor standards. 
I'm going to pick the Fine 302i or the 303i. The 303i comes with an extra driver, so you're going to get that extra presence. Again, if the budget is available, should be about 60, 65k. I'd spend that little extra cash. Uh, again, if you want a more well-rounded sound, a slightly more bass-heavy sound, you listen to a lot of EDM, a lot of hard rock, or if you plan on connecting your amp uh, to the television uh, for movies and streaming, etc., uh, then I'd go in for the 3050i from Q Acoustics, which just has that extra oomph, uh, which will make movies as well as move music. Uh, sound pretty damn good. Uh, so there you have it, my recommendations. Uh, I've broken it down by CD player, by streamer and by turntable. Uh, all hooked up to a very similar package. So you've got the PM6007, which is my favorite sort of budget audiophile serious amp. Um, speaker wise, we've gone in for either the ELAC 5.2, the QQ6030 i for floor standards. Again, separating neutral from not so neutral. And on the floor standing aspect, I've gone in for the fine 302s or 303i's. Uh, going up against the Q-Acoustics 3050i, again, neutral versus not so neutral. So uh, that's really the question that you're going to have to ask yourself. Uh, do you want a more neutral sort of audiophile sound? If that's the sound you want, you're going to have to go down a special direction. Uh, if you're, uh, you're sort of comfortable with saying that, listen, maybe I don't need the best uh, in terms of audiophile experience, maybe I'm willing to trade off a little bit of accuracy uh, for some quote-unquote fun, uh, then I'd look at you know things like the Q-Acoustics. Uh, everything that I've spoken about, all the models that we've spoken about, again, will be available uh, for purchase in the links below. Uh, we've got primers on everything that we've spoken about, right from CD players to streamers and turntables and bookshelf speakers and floor standers uh, and stereo amplifiers and streamers. So if you've got some spare time and you want to do some reading, uh, again, head down to the links and you'll find uh, blog articles to uh, everyone, every single one of them. Uh, if you've got comments, suggestions, uh, potentially a new topic that I should be covering, uh, let me know in the comments below um, and I look forward to seeing you again.